hi guys back with another video and today i have this gosin string uh, gosin is not a very renowned company in the sports of badminton but england player chris langridge he plays with this string and this string has a gauge of 0.69 so as i earlier uh, unboxed and reviewed kizuna z69 and nano g95 strings so this is again a 0.69 gauge string g tone 9 from gosin and this costed me around 325 rupees that is close to 5 dollars and that is a very very cheap price which you can expect so the mrp is printed as 550 rupees the country of origin is japan and of course the 10 meter 9 meter strings i think 9 meters so it will fit all the racket no it's 10 meter as you can see so it will fit all the rackets and this is made in a japan product so you can also see that they have mentioned the uh, string tension of the string as well the offensive player you can in the men's category you can go for 25 to 30 lbs for defensive player you can go for 20 to 25 lbs for ladies 20 to 25 offensive and 18 to 23 defensive junior players can go from uh, the offensive player can go from 18 to 23 and the defensive from 16 to 21 so i find this thing very unique in this string i mean no other string manufacturer will tell you the preferred string tension or the or you can say uh, the the preferred string tension only for your string that's really really cool from gosen i mean these are very new brands so they're trying to set up the market and they are coming up with some great ideas to capture the indian market or the international market so first thing no no you can see cardboard or uh, paper cover with this string so the security offered is not good i think so here's the string and the fragments of the new string oh god can't be any better than this for a badminton player so i have reviewed nano g95 and kizuna z69 and now i have this g tone from gosen now we will test it first i will gut it on my apax finapi 232 racket that is my training racket and then we will see how it goes i also tell you if this is better than kizuna z69 or nano g95 i think these strings are not really uh, famous so i won't compare it with the strings i won't come up with a you know uh, differentiation video or a comparison video but i will surely tell you if uh, these are fine or not so stay tuned for the other part of the video hi guys and welcome to the review part of the racket so now we'll first hear the sound of the racket so the sound is not really good as you can see uh, first of all my initial expressions so if you are playing with nano g95 or leaning number 5 or even with kizuna z69 so my initial expressions are these strings are equivalent to nano g95 uh, or nano g99 uh, they might be like 1920 uh, so i won't say that there is much difference it may be there may be some difference but i won't rate it very highly i will just uh, judge it in the case of nano g95 and 99 only leading number five may be a winner but still same case but kizuna z69 i'm just a big fan of those strings kizuna z69 is the clear winner so if you're going with a defensive strings like uh, you're going with bg65 or leaning number seven and if you want to up your game or if you want to upgrade then you will go for a string with 0.69 gauge which has some repulsion and durability factor is there so like kizuna z69 nano g95 nano g99 these are uh, high i mean uh, nano g95 and nano g99 these are a bit pricey strings but uh, when we talk about kizuna z69 it will come for 425 rupees and this g tone by gosen this cost just 325 rupees for uh, so uh, for a string with a gauge of 0.69 and a brand like gosen you can't expect anything else from this this is a uh, worthy of a price for 325 rupees you can't ask for anything else from this racket so when we talk about the third line uh, 
third line clear second line clear i am really sorry guys so second line basically means that this is the center of your code this is a net now you get this is the back line okay before the back line there is one line which is the last line for the double service okay that is the second line so you can easily clear the second line and the problem with many beginner players are that they are not getting any strings and they are not generating powers to hit the second line and if you don't hit the second line you will end up getting a smash or getting a drop shot which you can't control or you can can't return okay so you need to clear the second line as a beginner or any professional player because the reason is if you hit the second spot consistently you will give your opponent very less chance of scoring a point because you will draw him to the corners or to the back line and from the back line it is very very uh, tough to hit a smash outright winner or to hit any outright drop shot for a win so clearing the second line is very important and with this racket i felt that clearing the second line is not a uh, very tough task so it was really good so i'm really impressed with the power of this racket the power of the strings so when we talk about the repulsion power the power of the smashes and all so i will again say that it is matching the level of nano g99 and 95 and leading number 5 as well so you won't expect very great smashes from a string of with a gauge of 0.69 of course you can't expect much but here comes the deal now i've got this racket at around 27 lbs but if you can go a bit high like 29 lbs you will get a great repulsion power you will generate good repulsion so if you will get good repulsion you can get value for your shots and if you have a good racket like this is finapi 232 this is very basic racket i play outdoors with this when i'm free of course i'm a indoor player as you know guys but when i play outdoors i play with this racket so it just does the job for me and i want durability in outdoor courts because they don't want to change my strings for only the leisurable purpose of outdoor playing so for that purpose i just got it at 27 lbs because i don't want the performance i just want to play for fun but if you are very serious if you are indoor player and if you want some more advancement in your game what you can do is you can get your get this string at a very high tension like 29 lb or 30 lb and if you are a great racket it will just do justice for you you will generate good amount of power with your smashes but then comes the big part if you are hitting these corners not consistently but if you are hitting these corners there will be a chance that you will end up breaking your racket and the higher the tension that means you will lower the life of the racket frame also so that is also a point so you have to give up something if you want performance you have to just give up the durability factor and you don't have to care about the frame of the racket so that is one thing now the drop shots are also very very good with this racket i love the drop shots if you have control if you have the game uh, there will be a not there will not be a very problem with this now talking about the control of the strings so of course the control of the strings are not really good like these are thick strings 0.69 is a very thick string so when the shuttle hits the racket these are thick so that is why they are not consistently i mean they are shattered okay uh, they are thick so they shatter the uh, badminton shuttle and that is why there is no control but when you talk about a thin string so the area of contact will be less and when the area of contact will be less there will be good control in this thick strings the area of contact is more on the shuttle head so the control ways will not be very very good so for control purpose these strings are not good for professional players of course these are not for professional players these are only for intermediate player who are playing indoors and they want some durability before switching to professional play and for the beginners who are just playing for fun of course these strings can be used for leisurable play uh, the recreational players they can use it beginners can use it and intermediates can also use it that's not i'm i'm just stressing this words can use it not compulsorily but they can use it okay so that's the thing control is not really good smashes as i told you it's fine now is there any other point yeah so the tendency to retain the tension so of course this is a very thick string guys and 
बट आई प्लेड विद दिस स्ट्रिंग फॉर फाइव डेज एंड वेन यू टॉक्ड अबाउट नैनो जी नाइन्टी फाइव एंड नैनो जी नाइन्टी नाइन सो द टेन टू लूज टेंशन वेरी वेरी अर्ली ओके दैट इज़ वन प्रॉब्लम विद द स्ट्रिंग्स बट आई प्ले विद द स्ट्रिंग आई प्लेड विद द स्ट्रिंग एंड आफ्टर फाइव डेज ऑल्सो आई कैन स्टिल फील दैट द स्ट्रिंग्स आर टाइड इट्स नॉट लूजिंग टेंशन सो वेन इट विल लूज टेंशन यू विल गेट लेस रिपल्शन एंड द परफॉर्मेंस विल बी इम्पैक्टेड बट आफ्टर फाइव डेज ऑल्सो these strings are still intact they have not lost their tension for how many days i don't know uh, so basically guys i made a cut in the video and i played with this string for 15 days now and as of now i can see that there is just a minute loss of tension so uh, you can say that uh, this string will perform also very good uh, in the form of durability also i have heard many people saying that uh, if you gut any strings any like basic string like bg65 or these strings also on a very good racket like on a duora 10 okay so the performance will be enhanced i agree of course it will be enhanced but just tell me one thing when with the same racket your opponent will be playing with bg66 ultimix which is a very offensive string and he will be generating great amount of power and you will be like lacking to hit a outright winner so, what in that case when you go to a higher racket you need some very good strings to outperform and these strings won't serve the purpose for you so yes i agree that uh, if you choose a very good racket then the performance of these strings will be boosted but then uh, if you are playing at a very higher level you will be lacking some things and if you are playing for leisurable purpose or for outdoor play only then i'm not really sure why you want to take a racket which is very very costly i hope you get my message guys so overall for durability i will rate it very highly 10 out of 10 for performance i will say 6 out of 10 and for repulsion power i will say 5 out of 10 for control again 5 or 6 points and nothing else these things are fine for a, a for a beginner or for a intermediate player but not for a professional player so i pretty like this strings and if you also want this string i have a uh, link in the description you can check it out and if you buy from my link i get a commission from your buy which helps me run the channel so i hope you like my video if you did like please give a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel because i'll be coming up with more unboxing stuffs of rackets in the future as well so if you want some more suggestion related to badminton or any sports i would say badminton only because i'm a specialist in this but if any other sports then you can also drop us comments in the section below or if you want these strings and if you are not really sure what tension should i buy or what tension i should get it or what or any other aspect you can give drop a comment in the section below or you can also contact me on instagram i'm really active there as of now so stay tuned for more videos and bye bye for now stay safe